We recently had a great couple of evenings with Dr. Daniel Wallace from Dallas Seminary as our Cooley lecturer. And, and especially his first lecture, Dr. Wallace gave us a masterful presentation about the reliability of the New Testament, about the reliability of the manuscript tradition of the New Testament. He showed very convincingly that the New Testament is far better preserved than any other writing from the ancient world. What I would like to do as a bit of a postscript to those Cooley lectures is simply to give a little bit of a different perspective as a patristic scholar that will help to illumine how well preserved the text of the New Testament is. I work in the field of the early church, the writings of the first several hundred years after the end of the New Testament. This is called the field of patristics. And in the field of patristics, everything that we work with is preserved far worse than the text of the New Testament. There's nothing that we have that has remotely the number of manuscripts that we have of the New Testament. In fact, if we have one manuscript of a given writing, complete the entire writing in the language in which the manuscript is written, that's terrific, that's wonderful. Oftentimes we have to work with less than that, with incomplete manuscripts, with manuscripts that are in a different language besides the language in which the work was originally written. I distinctly remember one time while I was doing my PhD studies that I was studying the writings of a fourth century theologian who was later declared to be heretical. And his writings survive only in fragments, only in quotations by his orthodox opponents. And I was trying to figure out what this theologian was saying but there were only about 50 pages of fragments total. None of those fragments was more than a couple of sentences long. And they weren't even all in Greek, the language he was writing in. Some were in Greek, some were in Latin, some were in Syriac. And about 60 or 70 years ago, a German scholar had spent his whole life finding all of these fragments and putting them together in one place. They were in three different languages, we had no idea which work by this author each fragment came from. We had no idea in what order they were supposed to go. But this was all we had to try to determine what this guy thought about important doctrinal issues. And that's a fairly routine situation for people in my field. It's not the normal situation. It's worse than normal, but it's still fairly routine. When you look at something like that, and think about the vast difference between something like that and the manuscripts we have of the New Testament, then you gain an even greater appreciation for the remarkable work that the Lord has done, not just in inspiring the New Testament, but also in preserving the text of the New Testament in such a way that we can be confident that we have what was really written.